All right, child, so let me show you what I got going on. So I got some charcoal right here, and I got some buckets that got a little bit of rainwater in them. Wait a minute, let me show y'all something. Can y'all see the tadpole swimming? Y'all see them swimming? It's tadpole time, people. Y'all know I be raising frogs. Anyway, uh, I'm hoping one of them turn into a prince or something. It ain't happening all these years, but you know. Anyway. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this charcoal and um, put it in this rainwater and show y'all how to, how to inoculate it. I also got some weed tea over here out of the frame that y'all really can't, can't see too good. But, uh, to me, I'm going I'm to come over here and show y'all this bucket. So, y'all can see it's about halfway full, right? And you don't have to have any water in it, really. But I didn't want to waste my rainwater. So I'm just gonna take this is just plain old regular dry charcoal. It does have a few leaves, probably a little bit of dirt um, from the ground in it. Um, but for all intents and purposes, it is it has not been inoculated. And you'll notice that most of it is floating. So charcoal has a bunch of uh holes in it just like a sponge would if you put it under a microscope it looks looks a lot like a sponge i'm trying to get some of these leaves out i don't mind a little bit of leaves but huge amounts of leaves i don't want leaves won't mess it up don't worry i, I just i'm trying to get more charcoal than leaves but um yeah charcoal basically looks like a huge sponge it has huge surface area and it will float until and that's a stick and i'll leave it um, it will float until all of those little, you know, until it's saturated with water, basically. But the reason I didn't fill this all the way up is because I needed room to put the charcoal. Well, the, the reason it wasn't full of water, of course, you need some room for the charcoal. And so I'm going to do some new beds. And so that's one bucket. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of room at the top. And I'll tell you guys why. I hope this is where I can see. But um, I'm going to do some new beds, and that's why I'm inoculating this charcoal holly leaf. Um, and a lot of the really fine charcoal will go ahead and fall to the bottom. But a lot of the heavy stuff will more than likely stay on top. But yeah, like I said, I got some new beds that are going in that I'm going to show you guys. I got a new new planting area. And I want to put charcoal in there. Um, I'm getting to the point where anytime there's a huge worm. Look at that. The sucker's big. Um, I'm going to throw him over there. I don't want him to drown in the water. Uh... Or she. I don't know which one it was. Oh, I want worms and maphrodite, so it's a he she, I guess. And I know somebody's gonna get mad that I said that, but oh well. Um But yeah, I, I, I from now on I wanna start my beds with uh charcoal already in them. Because it just makes sense to uh if you can get started from the very beginning using this stuff now this one's pretty cool this one's not gotta come back and put a little bit more in this first one when you push down you want to you want the uh the charcoal to at least be three quarters of the way full like when i push it down like my hands they stop right there because char it's charcoal from the bottom all the way up to where my hands are pressing down. But let me show y'all what I'm going to put on top of this. So I've got some, uh, some comfrey tea that I've made here. And it's been steeping for days. And it smells absolutely rank. But that's what I'm going to top this off with. 
And let me tell you the crazy thing about this. Y'all know how they use uh, charcoal to get rid of odors and stuff. So this stuff smells absolutely wretched. So wretched that flies just fly all around it. Are in love with it. And um, after a couple of days of sitting with the charcoal, the charcoal actually gets rid of the smell, which is crazy. So yeah, testing that theory was quite interesting. But you can see I just filled it up. Ugh, that stuff is terrible. Anyway, um, yeah, filled that all the way up. Put that there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. You're gonna let that sit for um, a couple of days. Uh, I got two more buckets to do here. I'm at five minutes. I'll show y'all right quick. Just in case somebody missed something. But, uh, throw your charcoal in. If you want to use a shovel or a tool or something, by all means. But, um, this is just faster for me. It's just charcoal and dirt and leaves, so there's nothing harmful in this but if you just don't like being filthy then by all means use some type of tool a little bit more and I, actually i think i'm gonna save the last of this for the last bucket and this last bucket i'm just gonna pour it in there have hardly any charcoal in it. I'm gonna put some more charcoal in that. But um this one needs a little bit more as well. But what I will do is I'll go ahead and put my pump water in. And it doesn't matter if you get a little little comfort leaves in. I'm gonna fill it to about right there. This other one. All right, then one last thing I want to mention. See all that plant matter still in there? You can continue to use that. So what I'm going to do is I got a bucket back here with some rainwater in it. I'm going to take this bucket, rainwater, pour that in there. I'm going to get a little bit more rainwater. I just want to make sure that the plant matter is submerged and I'm gonna let that continue to ferment you'll actually kind of see it bubbling um, and that stuff is actually pretty warm <laughs> uh, it has been sitting in the Sun though but yeah that's how you inoculate the biochar and you can use any type of weed tea fermented plant juice banana water whatever y'all want to call this stuff it's all the same thing uh, vegetation that's rotting in water so, yeah, that's how you inoculate it. Let it sit for a couple of days, a day or two. It should be good. Um, if you don't have a day or two, I mean, you know, eight hours is enough. Um, I've never tried it at four hours, but anything's better than nothing. But, hey, if you even if you can't inoculate it, still use the charcoal. It works wonders in your garden, I promise you. It's how I get away with uh, hardly feeding my garden anything at all. So, Thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all. Uh, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, if you are subscribed, see if you can subscribe again about four more times. I'm just, I'm just kidding. But um, anyway, so yeah, I think that's all I got to show y'all. I think. I think I don't have nothing else. Maybe I'll leave y'all with a little shot of the tadpoles before we go. Y'all wonder what this is in the water is uh bits. Did y'all see him swimming? Swim. 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 <laughs> I'm torturing the tadpoles. But anyway, they're fun to watch. Anyway, 
Till next time. See you guys later.